So I, uh, what did, what was I up to? Oh yeah, so I was developing, working on stuff for, uh, layout stuff in GIMP for these new streams I'm gonna start, be starting next month. And what I was going to do, so Thursday was gonna be the last of, because since the beginning of the year, my schedule was, Monday was, uh, no, no, Tuesday, it was Tuesdays. It was Tuesdays was what I was calling Tune In Tuesdays, where I do a watch party or a watch along. Then on Thursdays, uh, well, it started as Paldia Thursday, where I'd play an hour of Pokemon, uh, uh, Pokemon Violet, and like just whittle at it just an hour at a time, work my way towards beating the game. And then for the second hour of the stream, I'd do the, what the high score story time thing, where we'd, we'd cover some of the book. I got to the point where it's like I'm not enjoying Pokemon Violet. It was, it was to the point where one day I was driving, I thought, oh man, I have to play Pokemon Violet on stream later. And I'm like, no, that's it. I made 86 of this. I'm not, I'm not going to play a game that I dread playing, that I'm clearly not enjoying playing to the point where I'm not, and don't look forward to doing my streams where I have that schedule. So I, uh, I eliminated that, and then I sort of introduced, um, I played a cup for a little bit, I played Mario Odyssey, until I beat that game, and then for the second hour I'd play, i do the high score story time, and then I just abolished the other secondary game entirely, just started with high score story time and just do a few chapters at a time, and then I was like, you know what, I've, I've accomplished what I wanted to with high score story time, let's finish it off, which was going to be the day before yesterday on Thursday. Oh man, we are only... Thank you, Bubbles, for saving our ball. And Aklaka Boy was, uh, was talking about, yeah, honestly... Uh, the Nintendo Switch Online, that's another thing I'm going to mention. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I... Hey, we got Royal Flush on our first ball. We... I don't... I can't... I can't remember the last time I got Royal Flush on our first ball of the game. We've got our outline stoppers in place. Uh, we are... This is potential high score, uh, PB territory right now. Yeah, and the funny, the frustrating thing about that video is I don't have much video of it edited together, but even after that, there were still lots of things I was genuinely enjoying and was genuinely excited about. But when I got to, uh, that central city, uh, I was like, oh, Mesa Goza, I was like, oh boy, like this is... And it's sad because Mesa Goza, in terms of the map design, is the most realistically designed town I've yet seen in a Pokemon game. But... There's no content. It's like repeats of the same t buildings, or same shops over and over with the same things. It's like, oh boy. So I accept that unless the n Game Freak could demonstrate a significant revolution in quality control and ambition, I'm uh, going to be stepping out. Uh, no, I have not. I've been not. I've been not following. Basically, everything I've found heard about the Pokemon anime is um, from you. Uh, uh, gamer, I'll be I'll be frank about that. I'm not following it much at all. Yeah, but so Thursday was going to be my last day. Yeah, Thursday was going to be my last. Oh my goodness, I have to get my outlane stoppers back in place. Yeah, so Thursday was going to be my last high score story time. That didn't go well for technical reasons we'd already talked about on stream. And then. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, Pokemon has had a consistent habit of being available for Amazon Prime Watch Party. If it comes out on Amazon Prime Watch Party, I will be watching it on stream. I will. I'll cover that. But uh, speaking of Amazon Prime Watch Party, so what I was going to do is uh, next week, next week, we got our outlane stoppers, outlane stoppers back, which is great. So next week, on Tuesday and Thursday, I was, we were going to watch... The, the third and fourth, and the third, and then the, and on and Tuesday was going to be the third movie in the Hunger Games series, film series, and the fourth on, and final film was going to be on Thursday, instead of replacing the spot from uh, High Score Story Time. And what I ended up, and what happened, I went on a Amazon today, just to check, uh, yeah, guess what? They removed the entire Hunger Games series from the Amazon Prime Watch Party program without warning. And that's, I'm like, I, I was so close to finish, I wanted to finish the entire series. 
Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll get to that. We, we, yeah, I'll get- I'll definitely uh, keep talking about my Switch Online experience with, uh, experimenting with GBA. But, uh, about- about future streams? Yeah, so th Tuesday was gonna be the third movie, and Thursday was gonna be the fourth and final movie next week of the Hunger Games series. And after completing the Hunger Games series, I was gonna be like, you know what, having that- I was gonna switch my week- my midweek stream to- to Wednesday, like it used to be. And have it alternate between, sometimes it'll be a game, sometimes it'll be a watch party or watch along, or uh, something else entirely. And I was, and so what would have been the end of like the dedicated, uh, my last week of doing dedicated watch party bl slots, they ended up cutting short for me because um, sadly the, sec the, the third and fourth movies and the entire Hunger Games series was removed from Amazon Prime Watch Party. So anyone who liked the Hunger Games movies who was watching them with me, you're going to have to get your own copies and watch them on your own time. Because I've had this happen several times, but it's very frustrating when I make plans and make announcements that, oh, I'm going to be doing a watch party for a particular movie or show, and then the day comes, like, not even a week later, and it's been removed from the watch party program without warning. Like, if they could have dates on there... And the thing is, I thought that... I Because I've been... Oh my goodness, I've, I've never, it's been, it's been years since I've gotten a score this high in, uh, versus pinball. I gotta say. I, I can't, I forgot that it even got to a stage where the, uh, the table changed colors like this. Yeah, it's all because I got that royal flush and I still have two balls to go. Oh no, this'll be, uh, this'll be clipped, this'll be clipped. And I have a cool system for uh, capturing and editing uh, film footage these days. But, yeah, it's 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 cool if it's just like a little thing I'm doing here and there. But it's like, okay, I plan specifically, we're, we're going to watch the Hunger Games series. I got half, get halfway through the series. And, you know, because I thought that maybe on the, uh, when it rolled over from 2022 to 2023, I thought that maybe, um... And by the way, just to be clear, gamer, I don't know if I specified or, or anything, but this is the arcade. Oh no, that's that's it for our royal flush. Sadly, if you get a, if you get a uh, go to the bonus table, all the benefits of the royal flush are eliminated from the from the lower table, un unfortunately. So we're gonna have to start from scratch on the lower table. In fact, I think the scar the cards will still be flipped. Yeah, that's the worst thing. If you can still, if the cards flipped back over, fine. But my my, uh, my gutter stopper at the bottom is gone. This is now, uh, this is now the best score I have registered. I don't know if it's my best score of all time, because I think I actually reset it at this point, so this, I definitely have gotten higher scores, uh, while, um, than I think this right here. Okay, thank you, Bubbles from Clue Clue Land, too. Wow, Bubbles' nose and sort of her legs changed color because of the palette swap on the table. Oh yeah, I borrowed that Kirby's Pinball Land. I borrowed that from a friend back in the 90s. And I'm looking forward to covering it again soon. I do have that the physical cartridge for that. Yeah, that game was very hard, but it was very fun. And you know, um, that game was made by Hal, and so was this. And this is actually uh, one of Hal's earlier projects for... For um, Nintendo. And this was a game that uh, Satoru Iwata personally played a very... I think he was the lead uh, program engineer on this project. This is mainly his game, pretty much. Oh no. Oh my goodness. That quickly. And uh, there's another game. Yeah, it's not the quite the same engine or kernel, but it is definitely a similar feel. The ball physics and everything definitely feel similar, but... Uh, if you want to play a game that I think is literally on the same uh, engine, so to speak, as Kirby's Pinball Land, there's a early pinball game for Game Boy called Revenge of the Gator. I've never played it myself, but I've seen a few moments of gameplay, and I'm like, oh, this is so obviously, like, the direct predecessor to Kirby's Pinball Land. It looks like they really just took the, pr like, the, 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 oh no, we're gonna get a bonus ball here. Yeah, so because of the uh, the complications with uh, with doing the Amazon Prime watch parties, 
I, I decided for, and this coincides with several things that are happening at once in terms of the directions I want to take my streams in and the plans I have for particular streams I want to do and plans for a new phase of how I'm going to run my channel and the types of streams I'll be doing uh, will... Yeah, it's just like, it doesn't mean much. It's just flat out like, hey, it's a pinball game themed around alligators. That's really the only logic to it. Oh man, that was, that was quite the score. Oh uh, yeah, we're entering our score for this. S. T. H. Uh, let's see. Let's see. I doubt... Uh, at one point I was in the top 50. High scores are still up there. And the thing is, I don't know if there are ways to cheat at this, frankly. I don't know if that's a legit score up top or not. Foxman, we have some Japanese players. Yeah, at one point I was in like the top, like, it was well within the top 50. But players keep playing and keep getting better. What? Okay. There I am. I'm 75. I'm in the top 100. I'm in the top... Yeah, I'm in the top 100. Wow. I didn't think I'd still be in the top... Okay. We're getting... Actually getting competitive at this game. Again, goodness gravy. Okay. 